Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to do 10 practice questions for grouping. So you're welcome to pause the video and try this one yourself. So, in the first two terms we can take out a common factor of 3, and that would leave us with x squared minus 1. In the second term we can take out a y, and that's going to leave us with x squared minus 1. So here we've done everything correct, because there we can take out a common factor of x squared minus 1, and then we'd be left with 3 plus y. Now, do you guys remember many lessons ago, we did something called difference of squares, where you have two terms separated with a minus, and each one is a perfect square. Because x times x gives you x squared, and 1 times 1 gives you 1, so we would open up two brackets, and you'd say x and x, plus 1, minus 1, and then the 3 plus y will stay there. Okay, so I didn't actually realize that that was going to turn into one of those, but yes, that can happen, so that would typically be worth three marks in the test. So let me just explain it once more. We did our normal grouping, and we got to this step over here. We then realized that x squared minus 1 is something that we did in the difference of squares, and so we could take that bracket a little bit further, and so our final answer is this over here. Okay, here's another one. So we group the first two terms, and then the second two terms, we take out a x, and then we're left with x plus 4. Here we can take out a plus or a minus. I'm just going to take out minus 5. Then what we would be left with is x plus 4. Let me explain. Because if I multiply these, I get a negative, and if I multiply these, I get a negative. So that's correct. But if I went and put a negative over here, then when I multiply these two, I would get a positive, and that wouldn't be the same as what it was. So it must always be able to become the same as what it was. Okay, so here I've got x plus 4 and x plus 4, so I can take that out as a common factor. And then what we're left with is x minus 5. So here in the first two terms, 2 and 3 are not common, but we can take out an x. And so we'd be left with 2x minus 3. Here we can take out a 2. And so you'd be left with 2x minus 3. Great, and so that's the same. And so it's 2x minus 3. And then we're left with x plus 2. So here's another one. So in the first term, we can, well in the first two, we could take out a 3x. And then you'd be left with x minus 4. In the second one, you could take out a 7, or I mean in these two. And you'd be left with x minus 4. And so there we have a common of x minus 4. So we take that out in the front. So that's now gone, and then we're left with 3x plus 7. Okay, so with the first two terms, the number 3 can go into both of those. So we take out a 3. They both have an x, so we can take out an x. And then you'd be left with 4y and 3. In the next one, we're going to just take out a minus. Then you would be left with y, I mean 4y, plus Three. How do I know it's a plus? Because if I multiply these two, well, that's going to give you a negative. And if I multiply those two, I'm going to get a negative, and that's what you had. What's great is not that these two are now the same, so I can take those out in the front. And then you're left with 3x minus 5. Here's number 6. So in the first two, we could take out a 3. They both have two x's, so we can take out x2. Then in the first term, you would still be left with a y, and in this one, you would still be left with a positive 4. In the next one, we're going to take out a minus 3, and then you'd be left with y plus 4. How do I know? Because if I multiply those two, that would be a negative, and if I had to multiply those two, it would be a negative. But if I change this to a minus, then that would have made a plus, and it wouldn't have been the same as this one. Okay, great. So now we have y plus 4 in both of them, so we take out y plus 4 as a common and then we're left with 3x squared minus 3. But now, have a look at this. So you always got to keep checking the brackets. If I look in this bracket, I could take out a 3. So what do I do? I take the 3 right to the front. And then what would you be left with here? You'd be left with x squared minus 1. But now x squared minus 1 has two terms with a minus. And x times x gives you x squared, and 1 times 1 gives you 1, so it's going to be a difference of square. And so the final answer is going to be this. Then we're going to open up two brackets, and we're going to get x minus 1 and x plus 1. So just remember, difference of squares over there. 
So here in the first two terms we could take out x and then you'd be left with 3x plus 2. In the second term you could take out a 4 and you'd be left with 3x plus 2. So that's a nice easy one. 3x plus 2 is the same in both and then you're just left with x plus 4. None of these brackets can go any further so that's the answer. Here's number 8, so the first two terms, the common factor there is x squared, and then you'd be left with x minus 6. Common factor here is 10, and so you'd be left with x minus 6. So, you're, so then you've got x minus 6 in both, so we can take that out, and then you're simply left with x squared plus 10. So in the first two terms, you can take out a common factor of x squared, and then you're left with x minus 2. In the second term, you can take out a 5, and then you're left with x minus 2. So x minus 2 is now common, so you take that out in the front, and then you're left with x squared minus, I mean plus 5. In the first two terms over here, we could take out n squared, and then you'd be left with n plus 5. Here we can take out minus 9, and then you're left with n plus 5. Let's just double check. If you multiply those two, you get a negative, and if you multiply those two, you get a negative. If I change this to a minus, then when I multiply those two, I would have gotten a positive, and that wouldn't be the same as over there. And so here we have n plus 5 and n plus 5, so we take that out, we then left with n squared minus 9. Be careful, two terms with a minus, each one is a perfect square. n times n gives you n squared, and 3 times 3 gives you 9. So we have to carry on a little bit further by opening up two brackets and using difference of squares, so n and n. 3 and 3, and a plus and a minus. There we go, guys. That's grouping. We have now completed all the different types of factorizing, and so now it's just practice, practice, practice.